Genetic testing kits have grown in popularity. Doctors say there's a time where it's appropriate to use them and a time when the information might not be sufficient. That's in today's Health Connection. At 59 years old, Robin Vandermoss was diagnosed with cancer. It's tracked through my father and his father, so I just want to put the kind of put the puzzle together. Now, more than six months later, he's undergoing genetic testing at ThetaCare. Hopefully we end up with some results that can be useful for my children and their children and, and going on. He's taking a route that doctors say is best under his circumstances. As direct-to-consumer genetic testing kits grow in demand, doctors are informing people there are times to use them and times to seek an alternate route. If anybody has a strong personal or family history of cancer or heart disease or other conditions running in their family, then they really need a more formal genetic evaluation. Here's how these tests work. You send a saliva sample in the mail, your sample is tested in a lab, and you receive your results revealing a plethora of new information about yourself, such as what type of earwax you have, if you have a fear of public speaking, or your ice cream flavor preference. Doctors say if you choose to use a gene testing kit that you've ordered online, it's best to read the fine print. Make sure you understand the capabilities of the test and look closely at the privacy information so you know what the lab is doing with your DNA. Overall, doctors say direct-to-consumer genetic testing kits have inspired a valuable trend. Families are talking more about family history and asking maybe some of the older relatives what is in the family. Maybe it's initiating some conversations with primary care doctors that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Simply use the kits wisely and seek a genetics referral from your primary care doctor if you have risk factors or a family history.